Welcome to today's video. Today I will be teaching you how to cut perfect airline gown. Very easy to cut. Um, first of all, I will be placing my shoulder measurement. Divide your shoulder into two. This shoulder is 16 inches. I fold my fabric like my tape like this, my 16 inches. I divide it into two. What I get is 8 inches. So is that 8 inches is my shoulder measurement. Now I mark it for my shoulder measurement. Now, whatever I get from this shoulder, that is what I use for my handbow. In all my videos, I use it for my uh, handbow measurement. You don't need to start measuring your handbow again. With whatever you get from your shoulder, that is what you're going to use for your handbow. Now, I've got my handbow measurement, that is 8 inches. Now, from there, I measure down to get my waistline. My waistline is 18 inches. Now, this is my 18 inches for my waistline. Now, for this 18 inches, now I take my uh, my tape down like this. I place it on this um, my waistline to measure my hip line. My hip line here is 8 inches. I hope it's what I'm doing here, 8 inches. Now, I take it my tape up again to measure my full length of this dress. Now, the full length, I'm making short gap on this uh, on this dress my full length here is um 37 what this folding allowance is here all right now after that now i'll now start place my uh my 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 uh, measurement my round boss measurement is a nine and a half now i divide whatever i get into four now 38 or whatever measurement you have, 38 or 36 divided by 4, whichever one you're using, whatever you get there is what they're going to use as your measurement. What I what I got on my measurement after dividing is eight is nine and a half. This is my nine and a half here. This is my nine and a half here for my boss. Because this dress is a free dress, I'll add two inches to give it free uh, space. I add two inches. Plus my sewing allowance, one inch. I hope you see it. Both my sewing allowance and my main um, uh, measurement, I add it together. Now I come down to my waistline here. The weight here is eight and a half. Like I said, I divide my measurement into four. This my 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 round uh, my round waist measurement is thirty two. Divided by two is eight and a half. All right, eight and a half. Like I said, I add two inches because this dress is not is 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 a uh, is is a free gown, not a fitted gown. So you need to add add two inches to give it free movement. And uh, now I add two inches plus my sewing allowance because I'll be sewing one inch. This is my sewing allowance here. Now I come down to my hip line. The hip line is this the same measurement with the uh, with my board nine and a half for my hip. I add um. I add extra two inches and my sewing allowance one inches, making it three inches. Now I come down to this my place, this my A line, because I want it to be A line. Whatever I get from this place, from this my hip like this, if I measure both the sewing allowance and the main measurement is uh, is twelve and a half. So in twelve and a half I measure to this this my uh down measurement. Now because I want this A line. I add extra six inches. You can add five, six inches. You can add seven inches. You can even add two inches. Depends how you want it to, the wideness to come out. Now, I think it's what I added. I added five inches. Now, I take my ruler. I take my ruler first of all. I'm going to connect everything together. I'm connecting everything together from my board. From my board. From my board, I make straight line like this. I hope it's what I'm doing here. For my board, I made straight line like this. So I connect the board. From the board, I connect it down to my waist. You see what I'm doing? From my board, I connect it to the waist. Now, from the waist, I connect from my waist again here. So my hip so 
for my hip. Let me take it down, just for me to understand it. I take it down. Now I take both from the hip to stand fast. Now for me to get my hairline, I take my lula, my long lula. I place it on my waist. This is my waist. I place it on my waist like this. See it like this? Because this is my table. Now from my waist like this, I take it straight. Alright? You see what I make here? This is my boss. I connect it with my waist. From my waist, that is where I connect it to my A-line. I hope you see the A-line here. Alright, so I'll be cutting it now. We cut from here down to this waist. Follow you to this side. But before cutting it, let me take my arm hole measurement. To get nice cut from arm hole, divide the the, the your this um uh arm hole into two. That is the eight into two. To get the cut very well, and cut it with your arm hole. Now I come to the next part. Like I said. The neck is for the the width of the neck is four inches. The front depth of the neck is three and a half. This is a standard standard measurement. For the back, the back depth depth neck is two inches. It's two inches. So I will take my um now I can make it like this, four corner like this. I use my French curve to connect it and connect the back side. So I'll be cutting it now. Cut the first, the, um, the back neck and cut the front neck. Cut the uh, the arm hole and bring this. So I've cut the the arm hole. I cut the back neck first before. I will cut this. I've not cut the front neck yet. Um, see how it comes out. I hope you see. See the shape. Remember, I said from this uh, box, I take it straight to my waist. From the waist, I place my long ruler to take it to my my desired length. That where I have my a line. Okay. Now to get this my to cut this my front side, I have to remove the back side. The back side. I remove my back side to cut out the front neck. All right. So I've removed it to cut the, the front So I've cut the front neck So for this back side is optional You can open, you can open it straight down You can open, you can open it straight down and Sew it back, sew it up to where you want the open to be. But you can open from here to here, you can measure just um, five inches and just open it there and leave it. But in this one, I'm going to open it straight down and sew half inches back to this, up to this side. So I'll be leaving like five inches here because I'll be adding my, touching my uh, bottom on this. Now, I'll open this now. Like I said, I want to open it. So I'll open it like now. You can open it like this one, like this. And when you're sewing it, you fold it. Or use facing to turn it. Or you can open it straight down. Depends the one you want. 
Maybe I will just leave it like that. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to open anything like that. I've changed my mind. I'm using it like that. So all I need to do is to cut my facing. And the facing will cut off to this side. So I'll be cutting, cutting the facing now. See, this is the sleeve for this dress. First of all, measure your ham hole. That same ham hole you take for your shoulder. 8 inches. And the sleeve length is 6 inches plus my sewing allowance 1 inches that makes it 7 inches after that um from this my um ham hole that is my shoulder remember i said shoulder is my ham hole 8 inches i made straight line from this upside now i made straight line to this side now i'm i use my um uh i divide this seed into two what i got is eight and a half um, four and a half. Please, I've, I've made video on how to cut perfect sleeves. Because if I start explaining this, like, it will take much time. Watch the video and check the video on my channel and watch it so you know how to cut this perfect sleeve. Now, from this curve here, this up here, I curve it to this other side. And my sleeve, um, my round sleeve, my round sleeve is seven inches, seven inches, six inches plus whatever allowance I add on this name, um, on this board, that is the allowance I'll be adding for my um my round sleeve why because i i am not going to be attaching my sleeve i'm not going to be as in shape my clothes before attaching my sleeve i i i am i'm going to be attaching my sleeve before um closing it together when i want to close my show my sleeve my dress i close from from sleeve down to my dress and to the down part please wash out try and wash the sewing part you see how i join uh um my sleeve to my main fabric try to watch the video so after that i the allowance i add on this main um, um armhole the same allowance is in three i add on the main fabric when i was cutting it the same that three i add on this my armhole the same the three i add on the um on the my um round sleeve all right please watch the video on my on my channel you will see how i explain it there very well so after that i'll cut it now I folded it into four because I'm cutting both of them together. So I've cut the sleeve. This is the sleeve. After that, notch this up outside. Please try watch the video on how to cut perfect sleeve on my channel. I explain it very well there. So this is the sleeve. And this dress, this dress, we also have pockets. The, the pocket, the length of the pocket is there. I measured um, 10 by. Eight. The length is ten. The wideness is there. Eight. Now I use my chalk to shape to to make some curve. And I cut it. So this this pocket is very easy to cut. Please watch the video. Watch the video on how to sew this dress. Please. Thank you. All right. This is how to cut the facing. Fold fabric like this. Take any pieces and put it like this. Take the back piece first, the one that has open. Place this. Make sure that this open place, it has you give enough um space, enough um length to this um the facing side. Now use the tape. First of all. Get this neck off first, alright, and measure from this, sorry, get the neck, the neck off first, and take your, um, your tape roof and measure two and a half from this uh, shoulder side, two and a half from here. Now, come down to this side, remember, this is where I open, my open starts from here, from this place to this place. So of course, I'll be leaving um, uh, enough length. At least three inches is okay. From that, from that hole, three inches. I take my three inches there. I hope you see what I did now. I remove it. So I'm going to be taking this, this two and a half here, the two and a half here. I'm going to be taking it like this. If you cannot cover it, you can just use your 
So don't take it sharp to this up to this side. No. Just take it like this. See the way I'm doing it. Give some like kind of cough. Don't take it up to this side. As in, don't make it tense to this side. Give some gap on it. Now I'll be cutting it now. this uh, the, this back side and this is the neck part hmm. okay need two this uh sharp scissors all right okay so this is the back side I need you to open it to the place. You have marked it already where the open will stop. Alright, so now we'll be cutting the, the face the face of the front. For the front, like I said, fold fabric into two, take any pieces and fold it into two. Place this the front of the front of piece on it. First of all, take the, the curve of the neck and measure two and a half. Remember the back, I measure two and a half. So this also is, is two and a half. Is two and a half. Now for this side here, measure three inches. That three is what I'm using mostly. Now remove your, your dress. Remove your dress and I start taking this two and a half, two and a half like this. You see, that's come to the side. So after that, cut it. So this is how the front is after I finish the cutting. So when I want to join it now, I join it like this. I take it, my fabric, my um, tracing like this. Join it like this. I join it like this. So half inches up to this side. And this is the back side. Now this is the back side. Now face to face together. I said there is so half inches, so it's up to this side, so it's down. Remember, it has cut at this back side. Make sure that this side is narrow like that. Take it straight down and down and turn it to the other side, next side. So this is how to cut this uh, perfect cell uh, facing. Thank you.